It's a question that is not new. As I get a little older and read a few books, it, it turns out that this is something that's been pondered as long as we have records of people pondering. Uh, and uh, the, la the old Roman philosophers uh, mused about this extensively. So, for example, the, this guy Seneca uh, just argues, and he's a Stoic philosopher. I think he's a Stoic. I could be full of crap. I think it sounds right. Anyway, Seneca writes these wonderful essays about death where he argues that there's no reason to, to fear death. And, and in one of my favorite essays, I wish he, I could quote this, but he says something about, you know, everybody's so worried about, well, what's the world going to be like when I'm not in it anymore? And Seneca says it'll be just like it was before you got here. A and I love that because it's absolutely true. And yet, I wish it were that easy because if it were, then it just wouldn't be a problem. A and once again, I've got to take refuge in, in Becker's notions because his point is that death is so terrible because it couldn't be otherwise in a living thing that has been carefully crafted by billions of years of evolution to avoid dying at all costs. You know, in the beginning of the denial of death, Becker just says, look, you know, every living thing is disinclined to die. There's just, a, if you weren't, then you wouldn't be here. So the point that he makes, and he's following this guy Gregory Zilborg, is that uh, our, our fear of death is just the natural result of a living thing the difference is, is that we know it's going to happen. You know, what makes it so terrible, the fact is, is that it's not terrible. I mean, I can say that as I sit here where my death is not immediately imminent and as a vague intellectual abstraction, I can agree that death is part of life and that's just how it is and it's not going to be otherwise and, and that's fine. But Becker's response is that it's just not that easy. It's almost a necessary reflex. It's the emotional manifestation of the biologically based predisposition towards self-preservation juxtaposed with the consciousness of the fact that it, it won't work.